Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So in today's OBS tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do screen recordings with an image in the background and then having windows and camera overlays above that. So this is something that's very simple to do, but at the same time, it could add a lot of creativity to your videos. As you can see here, I have an image in the background and the window that I have in the middle is my browser, which will show everything that I'm doing. And then to the right, I have my webcam. And so how would you actually do this within OBS? So we'll go back here. Now within OBS, there are things called scenes, uh, which is what we have here. You can create a new separate scene for this, but I'm going to show you how to do this in your existing one. And so the most important way you could do this is through your sources. So right now I have two sources. I have my screen capture and my desktop audio, but I want to add those other elements. So what you would first do is go down here to the add symbol and we're going to add our image first, our background image. Now, if you already have an existing source, which is what I have, you could use that or you could create a new one. Now it's going to go ahead and pick up an image because I'm already using one right now. So it should go above my video. So let me uh, resize this. That's the first thing you can do. You can resize your image. And so what you could do here is you could actually control uh, first the size of your image and also the position of the image as well. So this is going to be very important as you're adding more sources. So right now we want our background image to be at the very bottom, which is what we have right here. Now, if you wanted to change your image, all you have to do is right click on the image source, go to properties and go to whatever folder that you have your image. And so in this case, let's go ahead and choose a Star Wars theme. And so now we have our Star Wars Stormtrooper. And now I'm going to show you how to resize this. Now, since I am screen recording this at the same time, it's going to cover everything. But I just wanted to show you how to set that up initially. You want to make sure your image fills your whole screen as I have right here. All right. But let's go ahead and uh, go back to uh, make sure you can see my tutorial. So that's the first part is the image. Now, if you wanted to change the positioning of your source, in this case, the image, you could always move it up or move it down. So you always want the background image to be at the very bottom. So say, for example, you didn't have any other sources, you just had this image, you want to make sure it's at the very bottom. So the next source we want to add is our window. So we're going to go ahead and go down here and add and then choose window capture. And just as before, you already had an existing source, just choose that. And in this case, I have my window, but very similar to the image, you can choose which source it is. So you could right click on your window capture, go to properties and then choose the window that you want. Now I already have the window that I want to use. So it's already selected. And just like the image, I could resize things. So let me show you how this would look like. So for a moment, it's going to cover everything. I'm going to go back to my image. I'm going to make sure this is covers the whole screen. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So you can't see what I'm doing, but uh, as you saw a little bit earlier, you could kind of see how to do that. So you could resize, reposition things. So here's my window right in the middle. And the last thing I want to do is add a camera. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this image real quick. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my final source, which is my camera or my webcam. So I'm going to add this, go down to my video capture device and I already have an existing source. And there's my camera. So I'm going to add this right above here. And you'll notice another thing um, in OBS, you could hide your various sources. So there is an eye symbol here. So right now I could hide my video capture. I could hide my window capture or I can make it reappear. So right now I have my image hidden, but let's go ahead and put everything back. So now we have our uh, semi uh, pro <laughs> looking, especially for gamers, where now you have a background image with the theme, you have a window in the middle, and then you have your webcam. So super simple to do, uh, but at the same time, I think it's pretty powerful uh, in what you could do with this. And this is just a very basic way to do this. You know, there are a lot of things you could add, uh, many different elements. 
but I just want to show you how to quickly do that. You know, just add a simple background image, uh, add a window and camera overlay. And that is it. Uh, that's how you would do this. And if you actually had any other thoughts or tips on how to, you know, add various backgrounds or even video images, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my other OBS tutorials, I do have an entire playlist. I will leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.